Hello. Um, recently I was asked to combine a couple of animations from Mixamo, which is a wonderful free collection of pre-made animations. Uh, I used Blender, and although it's a simple process, relatively simple process, uh, Blender is not the most beginner-friendly program, so I thought I would just walk you through the process. Um, so the first thing to do is obviously download a couple of animations from a Mixamo. I'm going to choose the jumping. Uh, I'm going to keep frames per second at 30 because that's the native Blender frames per second. You can change it if you want. I'm just going to keep it 30 for simplicity. Uh, everything else looks fine. Excuse me. So I'll just save it into my project folder, which will be there we go. Uh, download jumping. And then let's go with, maybe I just have a walk. There we go. I'll choose that guy. Download, save as, walking. Um, so now that I've got those two things downloaded, uh, I'm going to open up Blender, which I already have opened. This is the default scene without the cube. And import an FBX. Uh, the first one I'll choose is just the walking. Doesn't really matter which one you choose first. Um, okay, now let's say this model here is the one that I wanted to combine with all the other animations. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to rename the armature to character so that I know this is the character that I want to deal with. Um, and let's open up a uh, or expand this window here and open up the dope sheet. Uh, and let's just expand this window a little bit so that we can see more of this uh, bottom menu. So the default mode that the dope sheet comes in is uh, just the dope sheet, I guess. Uh, but if you click this um, menu at the bottom where it says mode, you'll see that there's a couple of different options. And what we want is the action editor. So what we're going to do is export one FBX file with a bunch of different actions. So the default action, uh, the only one associated with this object at the moment, is called mixamo.com layer zero, which is not particularly helpful. So I'm going to rename that to, uh, what did we say, walk. So this is the walk now. Um, <clears throat> and we can duplicate this by pressing the plus. And then if we wanted to change some of these keyframes, we could actually go and let's open up the F-curves, oops, uh, just get rid of that, see what happens, delete keyframes, uh, actually let's delete all of them. So you can see that's completely changed what's happening. Um, but if we click on this arrow next to uh, our walk, we'll call this stupid walk. So if we click on this little arrow, we go back to walk, and it saved all that keyframe data for us. So now we have two different action groups uh, with different keyframe data in them. So what we need to do is open up the other FBX, the one that we want to combine, and then bring that animation data into this object. Uh, so what we can do is import FBX, and now we've got the jumping import, and you see it's duplicated this model. Um, so the first thing to note is that if we click our original character, I'll just rename this animation. This is a completely superfluous step. Uh, original character. Now if we click on this little funny triangle thingy down in the action editor, um, the armature, the <clears throat> animation data from the other FBX model is available to this object. Um, and what's interesting is if you actually delete the, uh, the other FBX, and I'm going to control select that and just delete everything, um, back in our original model, we still have access to the, armature, to the animation data. So Blender deleted the object, but it didn't delete the animation data associated with it. So if we click on that, rename it to something more useful, such as jumping. Now we have an animation action that has the jump, an animation action that has the walk, and our original, uh, our stupid, our stupid walk. So what I'm actually going to do with the stupid walk is select everything, delete it, re ah, what did I do? 
um, delete all the keyframes I don't know what just happened there but um, we're back in and rename this to pose uh, and in pose mode I'm going to select all of these and press alt R to reset the uh, rotation of all the bones and alt G to reset the location so now we have our pose mode sorry our pose animation action which actually doesn't have any action associated with it uh, jumping and walking so what I've noticed is if we go back into pose because there are no keyframes that inherits the inherits the previ inherits the um, previous pose so every time you go back into pose you have to reset this but that's okay because we're about to export so alt r g now exporting uh, an fbx is pretty easy you just hit F, uh, export fbx and there's a couple of options here um, sometimes if you bring a model into unity adding leaf bones can mess things up a little bit so i like to unless i'm sure that i need leaf bones for whatever reason, um, I'll just hit, uh, I'll just uncheck add leaf bones. Otherwise, everything should be good. I'm going to go back into our file. Um, I've already set up a Unity scene over here. Um, just to test and prove that this actually works. Uh, so if we go into Unity, using the fancy new 2018 hub. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait for it to load. OK, so you'll notice that we have, I'll just delete that for now. Um, so we brought in our character. All of these settings should be ready to go. Um, now, unfortunately, it doesn't actually show us if we, uh, oh yes, if we open this up, we have our jumping, our pose, and our walk. Those are correspond to our animation actions in Blender. Uh, unfortunately, you can't ex actually preview them in Unity. I don't know what's up here. Um, I've, I haven't had this problem before, but we can fix that pretty easily by just adding a quick uh, animator controller. We'll call this character. Add a new state call it walk and the motion will be walk and then we'll create a new state we'll call it jump and the motion will be jump and finally uh, let's add a transition between those two and finally create a new state we'll call it pose and the motion will be pose. So now, uh, all we need to do is apply this character animator controller onto our character. And if we press play, we should see walking, jumping, and pose. Perfect. OK. So that brought into Unity nicely. Of course, bringing an FBX into Unity isn't entirely necessary because Blender files open inherently, but if you wanted to send this to another program that reads only FBX, uh, this is your way to do it. All right. I hope that helped. So that I know it's just the animation data. Oh, I've fucked this up already. Okay. Never mind.